Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's tutorial we're going to learn some easy way to make your games more exciting. We're going to start by adding a part to our game. So just go ahead and open up an existing game or create a new game and add a part to it. And let's turn off collision. We're going to do a control D to replicate our part and we're going to move it out. So now I have two different parts. Let's go back to your first part and you're going to click on the plus sign and you're going to add fire to the part as soon as you put in uh, fire in the search box you're going to see the fire object just click on that as soon as you click on fire you can see right away that your part is on fire now let's go ahead and go to the other part and we're going to click plus and instead of fire we're going to type in smoke and select the smoke object and again, as soon as you click on smoke, you can see that your part is smoking. Another way to add fire and smoke to your games is to do it through the model menu tab. So first, let me just delete this fire and the smoke that we have added. So now I'm left with just two plain regular parts. Now we're going to go to the model menu tab and we're going to go to the gameplay section here. We're going to click on the down arrow next to effect. But before we do that, let's select the part that we want to put the fire that, that we're going to put the fire in. And now we're going to click on effect on the uh, down arrow and select fire. Immediately, the part is on fire. Now we can do the same thing to the other part. Select the part, click the down arrow and select smoke. And you have added smoke to your part. And if you like, you can play around with the properties of the fire and the smoke to, to, to make changes to them. For example, I'm going to click on fire and I'm going to go to my properties window and I'm going to change the size of the fire. So the, uh, the default is 5. If I make it 30, I have a much bigger fire. Now if I go to the smoke and... If I want to change, let's say if I want to change the rise velocity of the smoke. So the, the uh, default is 1. If I make that 5, let's see what happened. And the smoke rise faster. Alright, so those are two easy ways to add more excitement to your games. Now, if you want even more excitement, you can apply that to some free models. For example, you can go to the Home tab and click on the toolbox and add a free model. I'm going to select my favorite free model, which is the car. Click OK. Now we can close the window and I'm going to move the car out away from the fire. I don't want the fire to damage the car. And I'm going to go to my car model here. I'm going to look for some part where I want to where I can add fire and smoke to it. So I'm I'm just going to add the uh, the fire to the wheels. So here I have the front left wheel and front right wheel. I'm just going to add the fire to them. So go back to my model and click on fire. So now the fire object has been added to the front left wheel. I'm going to do the same to the front right wheel. Okay, so now, you know what? Uh, I don't want the front wheel to be on fire. So let, let me uh, just delete those. I actually like the rear wheels to be on fire. So I'm going to close the front left and front right wheel. and. And I'm going to add the fire to the rear left wheel and the rear right wheel. All right, and I'm going to se select those two fire objects that I have created. So press control to select the second one. And I'm going to go to my properties window and I'm going to 
change the size of the fire. So instead of five, I'm gonna make it maybe, I don't wanna be make it too big. How about 10? Okay, that looks pretty good. So now if you play the game, let's see how it looks. I should be able to see my car and the two bricks. And there they are. It's a good thing we, we uh, have a big fire so we can see them. We can see it better exactly where they are from far away. And look at my car. Look at that. It's ready. It's ready to roll. There we go. You see the, the back wheels on fire? If you would like to have some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, you can go to our YouTube channel, Price CP Roblox, and click on the playlist here. We, we have a bunch of different playlists. Um, there are two good playlists for new beginners here. The first one is the Price CP Roblox New Beginner Series which we are working on right now. And um, you can also go to Price CP Roblox Extreme Simple Series. Th this series is actually a very good series for new beginners. Um, just start with lesson number 001 and then go, go in sequence, like go zero, from 01 to 0203 because each new lesson um, the material is uh, is based upon the material that you learned from the previous lesson. So if you go out of order, some of the um, material you may not be familiar with. All right, so until next time, have fun creating your own Roblox games.